Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play some Ivern jungle. So the main thing with Ivern jungle is you don't want to get your jungle invaded by the enemy jungler. It's actually quite risky to invade the enemy's jungle. I know a lot of Ivern players or a lot of noobs may think that invading with Q and stealing, choosing buffs is good. It actually can be quite bad because it will mess up your own clear route. And uh, if it goes bad, it'll set you so far behind. And the sad thing about that is, is Ivern's jungle is quite safe. It's quite... Uh, he power spikes very hard without even really needing to interact with the enemy jungler. So your best bet is to usually just ward whatever side you feel like is at risk of being invaded. Here it's a red buff jungler, Master Yi. I'll, I'll ward this side. And uh, if you feel like they were going to invade your red buff, you could ward this side of your jungle. So you might have to go into theirs after you start charming your camp. So normally when you start your charm on camps, you normally start on wolves or raps. And then you end up smiting red buff early because you need that healing because it costs you a lot of HP and, and uh, mana whenever you charm a camp. And this is how you take camps on Ivern. Then you go to your blue, your Gromp, and then uh, then you're just gonna kite down. You don't actually need to kill any of them right now. All you're gonna do is hit a potion. That's why we left this ward here. So if Yi does red straight into our jungle, we can either react, collapse if we can collapse. If not, I can push into his jungle, take some stuff. But so all my uh, little charms are proc and they're all taking their sweet time and obviously at lower levels it takes longer it gets much lower the higher you go so now you're just gonna charm red buff and then smite it you're gonna charm red smite you're gonna take your raptors and then you're gonna take these camps then you're gonna look for a gank at this point you normally go take take your w if you're gonna gank or you would take your uh, e if you're about to like all in fight to the death so since we're about to gank, I'm actually going to take my, uh, it's tough because your W gives you a lot of damage. So it's not like an obvious choice of, oh, you always want to take E at level two or whatever. You are going to be maxing E first, but in your ganks, being in a bush makes your autos do over 30 plus damage. So it's actually, it can be a lot more damage. So I usually like to wait until the ganks actually happening like this. And then I can decide at this point, I can just get all three of my abilities. This isn't warded. We're gonna set up a bush. We're gonna wait to snare this guy. We're gonna put our shield on Trin. It's gonna blow up on him. We're trying to stay in the bush. Whenever we auto him from the bush, we do extra damage. So we try to use our bushes to fight with. All right, we're gonna get this E. We're gonna hit him down with the ranged autos a bit. This guy's dead. He just killed himself. That's awkward. Uh, that Aatrox teleport was uh, not good for anyone. Gonna just bush him under my uh, turret here. I don't want to die. Just gonna E him. He's dead. Very nice. Getting super far ahead. We're gonna max our E first. And normally with your smites, so you, you'll use your first smite usually on your red buff because red buff's super important. And then the rest of your smites, you'll tend to use on scuttle crabs or the enemy's raptors. The enemy's raptors is a really good camp to take. The golems are the least important camp on Ivern because it gives them the least XP and least gold. So if you are going to invade, it's normally on raptor camp like this. And then you're just going to smite it and run. And now we can just kite back towards our scuttle crab. We'll get it here in a second. We'll have to wait. We'll go up to it. So yeah, just fight around your bushes in a gank. And you don't want to throw out your Q early. You don't Because if you just throw it out raw, they'll either dodge it or flash it. So... If you're gonna Q, make sure you can land it, just like with any skill shot, like a Lee Sin Q. Lee Sin walks up into melee first. You can do that with Ivern as well, if you feel comfortable going into melee against the person you're ganking. So for your first item on Ivern, you can either go Mobies or Lucidities. I prefer Lucidities. I feel like they give more value for what we're trying to do. And I'm gonna get a pink ward, and I'm gonna build straight into this item. If I could afford it, I would've gotten a Dark Soul. I didn't wanna go into debt, because going into debt costs you 50 gold. So I didn't wanna go into 50 gold debt for, uh, a dark still, so I'll just build into an item I'm gonna rush anyways. Rushing Athenes is your best first item, then you normally get redemption into something like Ardent, or you can get a Majayas and just stay alive. So you are still gonna take your golems, but it's just not a priority. I'll get my charm down on it, I'll take them later, I'll pick up these raptors. So yeah, on the Ivern, your first back, you don't really want to back before you can get tier 2 boots. Tier 2 boots is your core item. You're actually not gonna finish your jungle item, it's not worth it. We're just gonna get our Athenes into redemption. 
And uh, I don't think we're actually going to go for Ardent. I'm not sure. We don't really have an AD carry. No one on our team uses auto attacks that much except for Trindamir. So we'll see. We might go for Ardent. It's good because we can uh, AoE apply it with our Redemption. So we'll see. It's still nice because it gives us a shielding power. But we're definitely going to get the Athene's Redemption. And then everything else will be situational. Ooh. Oh my god, what is going on here? I can get my ward down so I can see this guy. I can use my E on him. Try to hit him from the bush. Nice, Trinder finishes him off. I'm holding on to my E so I can uh, shield him. And now that I'm hitting him in the bush, I'm doing so much damage too. That... Dude, that extra 30 damage, that's like having three long swords, bro. Ivern W is three long swords. 33 bonus damage. It's just insane. I'll help him shove wave. I'll hit him with an E. Set up a bush auto. Hit the minions. So, something you guys really need to think about. For example, when I snared Yi, I didn't want to dash to him. Whenever you land your snare on somebody, you or your teammate for roughly a second can uh, click on that person who you snared to dash to them. Like a Zin Zhao dash or whatever. So after you dash to them though, the thing is you you're you're they can hit you, right? So if I would dash to him, you probably would have killed me. But you still want to auto them. But if you just click on them, like pretend this turret's E, if I'm just clicking on him to auto him, it's gonna dash you to him. If you click on them or press your Q, it dashes you to them. So what you're gonna want to do is set up attack move click or attack click, click near them with it. That way you won't dash to them. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, every time you click on them, when you ha just queued them, it'll legit dash you to them. And But you may not always want to do that. It's just sometimes you want to dash to them depending on the situation. But not if it's going to get you killed. But you still may want to auto attack them because your autos do a lot of damage, especially if you're in a bush. Hope that makes sense. All right, got a raptors now. We're going to ping out the red thing for our fizz. Looks like he already realizes it. Every time you take a buff after you're level 5, 5 and up. Your teammates will, yeah, it is five and up at level five and higher, yeah. So Fizz just got a free red buff, which is essentially gonna win a mid lane. I'll look for that scuttle crab over there. I'll save my smite for it. Thirty seconds. Part. Oop, there it is. Get down a bush. I have to hit him before he gets away. Dash to him. I'm trying to get, hold him here for Fizz. Looks like he got the kill. Gonna shield Trindamir. Snare. Bush. Dash to him. He's dead. You can use the dash also as a juke. Like if he throws out an E skill shot or something, I can juke it with my dash. Since I land my Q. Alright, we'll take this. Put the shield on Trindamir. We'll stand in a bush and auto it for bonus damage. And your bush actually does give you vision for three seconds. So when you lay it, and if an enemy steps in it within the first three seconds of you laying it, oops, shielded the wrong person, then uh, you'll actually be able to see them. So whenever you're using bushes in a fight, there's not a whole lot of downside to it. You just want to focus on making sure you're using your bush in a way to where you can auto from it. You can queue over walls onto your camps. Let's take that. You can queue over the walls on anything, whether it's an enemy minion, a monster, an enemy champ. Yeah. So now Fizz gets a free blue buff. He got a free red buff. So as you see, it's a massive... Uh, it's really good for your mid laner because they can access the red and blue buff early on here. He sees me. He's running away. He knows what's going to happen. So we have our Daisy now. You don't really use Daisy unless you land Snare or unless they're chasing you. If they're chasing you or if you land Snare, Daisy's really good. You basically need the enemies to be like CC'd though so Daisy can beat up on them and stun them. I mean, not stun him, but knock him up. Hmm, thought we could actually kill him there. Let's go ahead and leave. Yeah, I thought that was weird. Trindamir was leaving. Just auto them from the bushes. We're gonna max E first, Q second, W last, and obviously take a point in your ultimate whenever it will let you. It goes without saying on 99% of champs. The only champs where that's an exception is uh trendomir sometimes doesn't always level up his ulti after level six and uh jace and elise may not and udir but 
almost every single champion takes a point in their ult whenever they can. It's just the general rule. Because it's just most champions' ultimates are OP. And per level, they get a lot of bonus stats. Just run away. I have my Daisy. I'm about to pop out here. This trend rate doesn't want to be that far up for whatever reason. I'll take Master Yi's Raptors. I haven't been doing much farming this game. I've kind of just been perma ganking. Gotten a lot of value out of it though. Waiting for the... I don't know if Velkaz AFK'd or what happened. Oh no, there he is. I was gonna say, I'm like, bro, we should be here by now. So we tank it a little bit for him. We let Daisy stay on him. And Fizz died anyways. I don't know how. He's trying to Q dash on me. He's trying to force out my flash first. Got Daisy on him. You can put your E on Daisy for the slow. I just slowed him from a distance by with my E on Daisy. Hit him with my snare. Dash to him. Me, Daisy, and Trinamir all dashed off of that snare. E myself. This dude's dead. That's the power. Dude, Ivern does so much damage. People don't realize it, but the Ivern damage is actually stupid. And Ivern has good AP scaling too. Ivern's AP scaling is actually really high on his uh, E and his W. Not bad. Make sure you control Daisy. You gotta click on your, your R to control the Daisy. For me, it's T. This pointer to what to attack. A lot of times, you'll put your E on Daisy if you're low on health. Have her, like what I was doing with the E, and have Daisy beat them down a bit. And your E will slow them so Daisy can stay on top of them too. Let's get these Raptors. Next up on the agenda is going to be red buff, things like dragon. We have both smite charges because we've just been over ganking so much. Like the over ganks have worked out since just the way it's played out. We've been fortunate, but in general, you don't want to you don't want to have both smite charges up on uh, Ivor, and that means you're not farming enough. Farming over ganking just a little bit too much. I'll ping out the Yi. And uh, I'll go ahead and just take my red. I need I need the healing it provides. I'll go ahead and shove mid real quick. They're all bot lane. I'm going to set up a bush to push with my auto. Set up my E. Try to hit the whole wave. Just like that. Kill these minions. Boom. boom. Iron's wave clear actually isn't that bad. Like, Evelyn's wave clear is so bad because her cool Q cooldown is super long against uh, non-monsters. I don't know where Trin's going. This is free red buff for both of us, though. I'll just... Ooh. Got him. I landed Q, so we just both dashed to it. If you land your Q, you have a second to dash to it. I mean, Trin and Nimmer both did. I have my smite up, so we can both have red buff here in a second. If he takes it, then... Uh, I think we sp still both get it, but... I mean, I'd, I get more experience from killing monsters than he does since I have my jungle item. Kind of awkward. We want. We do want to stay alive here, though. We have some shutdown gold. Gonna keep Daisy on this guy. Wow, this guy is beefy. Get him, Daisy. Get him, Daisy. <laughs> Daisy knocked him up. All right, let's go ahead and back. We have way too much gold for this shit. Let's just get out of here. It's really dangerous. Mastery has full jungle item, and we don't even have. Ooh. Get out. Holy cow. It's not good. All right, we got our Emacs working on our Q now, and Dragon's up. Go ahead and pick this up and get a Redemption as well. Not bad. Let's get another pink ward. And let's get out there and carry, guys. Now, for those of you wondering, well, what does Ivern play well against? It's less about what Ivern's playing against, and it's more about what Ivern has on his team, since Ivern is... He's a mage, yeah, but he's also like a peeler. Like he's a enchanter plus a mage. He's both. Cause he does do solid damage with his Q, his E, and his R. Lots of AOE damage in his kit. And your redemption does AOE damage as well and AOE heal. 
So Ivern plays best with melee champs. Like if you have Leona, Yasuo, Trindamir, Fizz, that kind of stuff. Any kind of melee champion that has dashes is really good with Ivern because they can set up your E. So you can give them a big shield and your E does massive AOE damage and slow. So if they can basically be that transporter of your E bomb, your E explosion, that's really good synergy. So this, th in this case, this is a really good comp. Ha if, if I was on their team, having the Aatrox would be good. Or if it was like Master E top, that'd be really good with Iron. So I could just peel them out. But I think my comp's a little bit better for Ivern than their comp. If I was on their team, we would literally only have the Aatrox for our melee. And here I have the Fizz and the Trindomir, which is really nice. Remember, your Redemption has a lot of range. We can use it from uh, really far away. So I'm just hitting this from the bush for the bonus damage, shielding the Trind, letting him tank. Let's try for wards here. Alright, let's get our E down. See how it's also a good wave clear. Fizz just set it up. He hit the whole wave with my E. Took it really fast because of it. Should have gotten my E on him there. There, that doesn't, that's just poking. I'm obviously not going to grab that. Now, if you accidentally pressed your Q and teleported to that, if you dashed to that, you would die. So, just because just you land a Q, you don't have to dash to it. I'm talking to you, Lee Sin players. Sometimes you just use your Q to poke. Vrager, very rare. Other times you're using it to set up a kill or to run away. It's really good for running away. You just snare and run, run away. They can't really do anything. Mm, we need Herald. We're going to have to use Herald here. We don't have much uh, siege potential. Our siege is pretty bad. And your E's on a super low cooldown. It's only on 4 seconds and it lasts for 2 seconds. So I can pretty much have a teammate shielded non-stop. With only 2 seconds window, window of an enemy to attack him. Smite that. Once again, your smite, you're going to be using it mainly on red buff, early game, and on scuttles. And if you invade the enemies, you'll almost always do smite on their raptor camp or on their buffs. You're not going to really be smiting wolves. It's too deep. You're not really going to be smiting golems. It's not worth it. Just buffs, scuttles, and raptor camp. This is weird. I'm going to set up a bush tunnel for myself. Like Trinomir's going for this. Almost landed that. Just healed him with my Athenes. Let's break this turret down. Sit down a retreat bush. Unfortunately, you can't put your E on Herald. Kind of sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. You can just use it onto your champs and Daisy, really, or yourself. All right, we're just chilling in this bush. They don't know who's in here. Well, I guess they know I'm in here now because I just eat them. I mean, Trainer can fight this. He's really fed. And he can just use the E slow. He's a really timid player. I'll ping out the red buff. We can both have it. Q over the walls to check if camps are there. You don't have to jump to it if you don't want to, obviously. I'm doing Master E's here. Alright, we both get red buff now. He's probably gonna go to his uh, golems. He just ran away over here. Could be anywhere, really. Might have just back. Might have moved into my jungle. There's very little action on the map, so we'll just keep controlling the dragons and keep controlling scuttle crabs, that kind of stuff. Ooh, this is going deep. I'm thinking of, I was gonna use my redemption, but there's no way he was getting out. If you can't save your teammate or get a kill. It does 10% of their max health and true damage, which is pretty good in a team fight. So if you hit your whole team and the whole enemy team, it, it the redemption is actually pretty OP. But, I mean, if you're not going to get a kill or save a teammate out of it, you might as well just save it. Because the cooldown is kind of long on it. You want to make sure you have it for when you really need it. Mm -hmm. We're just farming up. So our next item... Uh, we don't have many people who can use auto attack, so I'm not crazy about Ardent. It does give increased healing and shielding and movement speed, which is nice, though. I will say, a lot of people don't realize it, but Rabadon is really strong on Ivern, especially if you have a Majaya's. If you have Majaya's and Rabadon on Ivern, since he scales so well with AP, I was playing a game and my shield was shielding at max level, and with my AP, it was shielding for over 600 damage, which is nuts. 
Now I can just Q over the wall, go to Dragon. Bada boom, bada boom. And Fizz just dashed to it as well. Which is very cool. And check for wards. And make sure you're never frontlining on Ivern. You want to make sure you stay alive. Your E's on such a short cooldown that if you can just stay alive for five more seconds, four more seconds, you can get off two more E's. So just stay alive for eight more seconds, you get off two more free E's, lots of snares, bushes. And a lot if you die, Daisy dies. So if you have Daisy out and she's putting in work, if you die, it's all for nothing, man. I'm gonna set up some bushes. You, you can't actually hide Baron or Dragon anymore. That was something way back in the day on Ivern. So when you're doing this, you just set up retreat bushes and also block, try to block off their vision from this side. And you shield the guy who's tanking it. So I actually just shield the wrong person there. I don't even have smite. My smite's on cooldown, so that was kind of bad that we did that. Yeah, I just try that. What are you gonna do, Syndra? I'm surprised she didn't just keep taking it, honestly. Looks like Master Yi ulted away. And the higher level you get, your charm happens faster and faster. Looks like I'll get the blue buff. I didn't, I didn't get the monster, but I still get the buff part. Why doesn't Trindamir turn on this? This is so free. Yeah, that was so weird. I don't know why Trindamir keeps running from these fights. Just fight, you can kill everyone. You see how big that shield is? It's scary big, man. And it's already off a of cooldown again. And plus with my airy, my airy makes it even bigger. Now you can play Ivern some other ways, more cheesier ways, but this is, in my opinion, the best way to play him. It's one of the highest yielding results. Very consistent. I will, if you guys like this video, I'll try some more, I, not try, but <laughs> I'll show you the other, uh, the other ways of playing Ivern jungle. I don't think I've lost a game with them. I played them on a few different accounts, and I played them on this account a couple of times, and I don't think I've lost a game with Ivern yet. It's pretty safe. Pretty safe, pretty strong. If you're playing him properly, farming properly, ganking properly, he's difficult to deal with since he can just backline and give so much value without you being able to really do anything. Gonna throw out a snare. Didn't land. Gonna throw out Daisy. I should have put it on Daisy. Daisy would have landed my uh, E. He's knocked up. Almost hit him with my snare. I'm gonna put my E on Daisy. Daisy's gonna run Jin down. I'm gonna put my uh, stun on Daisy again. I couldn't quite get to it. I think Fizz wants that. Yeah, Fizz got it. Landed my snare on him. Showed the trend to mirror. And yeah, guys, that's how you play Ivern Jungle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is King6. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Go to the start of the video for the runes, build, level order, all that kind of stuff.